I, I wish as well to pay, first of all, to pay tribute to the Honourable Member for Warrington South. I thought he made a very powerful speech before. I congratulate him on securing this, this important and vital debate uh, to mark the International Day for Elimination of Racial Discrimination. I know it was on March the 1st. We've had to wait. But it's none less worthwhile for that. So I congratulate the Honourable uh, Member for that. Now, the Honourable uh, Member mentioned his own town and his welcoming town. I just want to just reflect very briefly on my town and the way in which it is uh, a diverse community now, very different to where it was. I mean, many people look at Solihull Hall from a West Midlands perspective and think of it as, as quite well-to-do. I mean, there's a joke that goes around, a crash in Solihull, Hill, there's some allowance between two Land Rovers. And then the idea that, effectively, it's traditional. That's another word for white, uh, sorry, in terms of, of, of white in that respect, being traditional. And the realities are that Solihull, like so much of the West Midlands, is changing enormously in that respect. And in fact, what tends to happen is that many people do well in Birmingham and other places as well and come into our town and welcome into our town and have vibrancy to our town as it expands exponentially due to this influx of people from other parts of the West Midlands. And we now have a higher than national average in terms of BAME communities. And we have a very strong, very vibrant Muslim community, Hindu community and Sikh communities, as well as Greek, Jewish, Jin, Zoroastrian. It's almost, there are so many, I could take up the other three minutes of my speech, or three and a half minutes, just to mention it. But it is a fantastic, I think, embodiment, effectively, of diversity within the West Midlands and success in that diversity. But we face our challenges, and these have been writ large in our town of late. Quite recently, we had the horror of pig's heads being left outside the hub, a Muslim community centre, an education centre in Hermitage Road in Solihull by far-right activists, all because people of the same faith have decided to come together in order to bring about education and basically to bring about something which is a positive in the community. Absolutely shocking, as I'm sure some of my friends here have actually said. We also have worries and concerns over anti-Semitism. Amongst my Jewish community who have spoke to me often confidentially about the fears that they have right now over this rising tide of anti-Semitism. Now, I'm not going to indulge in any part of political matter in that regard. I trust and I know and I'm sure that every member of this House absolutely horrified by those twin pillars of evil of Islamophobia and anti-Semitism. And we stand with our communities in that respect. So, what do I think, effectively, is at the root of this, these changes? Now, social media has been mentioned, obviously, we have the strategy paper today, and that, I think, is only going to be a, a part of a broad patchwork approach that we have to do as a government and across Western civilization to exactly how we actually manage something which is as great as the creation of the printing press. And I am reminded of the fact that after the invention of the printing press in the 15th century, Europe indulged in two centuries of civil wars as a result, partly, of this greater communication, this way in which uh, the, the, basically these ideas were communicated, often quite disturbing to the status quo. So that is a challenge that we face. And I do think that the keyboard warriors in our society, who are in the very darkest recess of their minds, come out and these dark thoughts come out. That is one of the challenges that we face, as well as, as groups become more empowered, there's a counterstroke becomes more sharper. People themselves react more violently in their language and in their behaviour. So what do we do finally, Mr Deputy Speaker, in terms of countering this? First, we need education. And we need education not just in our schools, but in our colleges, in our communities, in, our, uh, in places like the hub in Solihull, at the Shree Community Centre in Sparkbrook, near my constituency. But also we need to actually say to each other, to say as a society... I will, not rate, I will not let racism pass. I will not stand there when these comments are made. I will tackle it. And I will do what is right because, frankly, that is what will make our society work and work in the long term. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In